Hi, I'm back here again in Google Sheets and in this video I'm going to be talking about how you can use Google Sheets to create a highly automated custom sales management system. This system will allow you to receive and input sales orders, generate PDF copies of invoices and picking slips, and archive your sales history. However, one of the most important features of this system is that it will allow you to automate SMS and email reminders to customers when the products that they have ordered reach end of life and need to be replaced. There are six sheets on this spreadsheet and I'll give you an idea of what each one does and then I'll demonstrate how the system works. So the first sheet here is an order form where you will import data that you've received by email or um, over the phone however you receive your orders. You can enter your customer's details as well as what they've ordered here and then submit that to the tax invoice and picking slip sheet. So the picking slip and tax invoice areas will be automatically populated with the customer's order as well as their contact details. The third tab across the bottom is the customer list where we basically have all of the contact details necessary for a customer as well as a little bit of a form up the top where we can add new customers if we want to. The fourth tab across the top is a product list. This is all made up information. It's just some random item codes, cost and price. The next tab across is the order history which is currently blank. And the last tab is a detailed, itemized uh, list of all the items which have been ordered, uh, similar to the order history. However, this one separates each individual item onto its own rows. And this is where reminders will be sent to customers via email and SMS when you need to do that. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate this now. On the order form, you can choose the customer that you're sending the goods to and I'm just using data validation with a drop down to choose a, a unique value about a customer and in this case I've just chosen their phone number. So if I choose this person's phone number, all the fields just below here will be populated with that customer's details and we can start proceeding with the order. Each of these cells has data validation in it which refers back to the product list and it basically just gives you a list of all the different products you have. So I'm just going to choose a few at random and you'll see some things happening over on the right hand side. So what's happening here is first each item is being given a unique number starting from 1000. The sell price is being populated into these cells and a rotation date is being created. The rotation date can be whatever you want. It might be six months or a year or two years. And I'll show you how you can change that yourself if you need to. The order number down here has been populated as well with a unique number. And we also have the orders total down here. So once we're happy with the order that we've received, we can go ahead and submit this. So I'll click on the submit button at the top. Now if we take a look at the picking slip and tax invoice sheet, uh, while this script runs, shortly it will populate all of the necessary fields here with data. There it goes. And, and the tax invoice fields have been populated as well. This is all pretty much laid out in the same format that it came from the order sheet in. There's a little bit of extra information here. So we have the total number of items ordered, uh, the date that it was ordered on. And we have some blank fields down the bottom here so that when this is printed out and delivered to the customer, we can write the name of the person who delivered it, uh, who received it, and the date that it was received on. The person taking the order can review the information here and make sure it looks okay. Um, they can make whatever corrections they want to make. And once they're happy with it, they can click on the print button just here. And what that's going to do is create a PDF copy of just this one sheet um, with all of this information on it. And it's going to save that to my Google Drive. And then it's going to clear 
all of the relevant fields in the picking slip and the tax invoice sheet. So there it goes, we just saw the data go away. And now if I take a look at my Google Drive, we have a PDF in here called picking slip. Um, it has the order number and also the date which the order was placed. If I open that up, you can see it's basically the same information that we saw on the previous sheet. So you can go ahead and print this off and you might supply the picking slip to your store person and send the tax invoice to the customer. So I'll go ahead and return to spreadsheet now and we'll move on to the next tab. So this is the customer list. This is where the customer information on the order form is being drawn from. It's pretty straightforward. Um, if you've seen my previous videos, um, this will look familiar. All we're really doing is adding new customers information in here. And we can also choose whether we want the customer to be able to receive SMS messages or email messages, whichever they prefer. They can have both if they want, and that can be changed at a later time if need be. So once we're happy with that information we've got there, we can hit Submit. A unique customer ID will be created for that customer, and their data will be transposed down here. Now if I return to the order form and look up my customer list, you can see that that new customer is here and their information is available for the next order. Here on the product list there's not much going on really. Um, it's just a spreadsheet of product data. Um, there's no automation going on here, just add products as you need them. And on the order history sheet, we can see that we have um, basically a single line summary of that order that I put through with the order number, the customer ID, so we can look up who ordered it if we need to, uh, the date that it was ordered on, the total number of items. These fields can be filled in manually if you want to. And then we have each item. You can see that um, the product ID number, D3A2, um, has been appended with the actual item number. Um, so that's always going to be a unique number across there, or a unique code, I suppose. Um, and any lines that didn't have um, items are blank. Moving on to the last sheet, we have the item numbers. And again, we see that there's a single line for each item. It has its uh, unique code here, as well as its unique product number. We have information about whether the SMS or email reminder has been sent um, or whether they're permitted, the destination email address and the destination phone number. Now the script which I've written which um, will send these reminders automatically runs every six hours. Um, so if this date were to come along and I wasn't here, the reminder email and SMS would still be sent to the customer. So long as that date matched, um, both of these were permitted and they hadn't already been sent. I'm going to go ahead and change the date on this item and also the destination phone number. And I'll hit run now and you should hear a text message come through. There it is. Um, so we have confirmation that the SMS has been sent and the email has been sent. 
If there's any kind of issue with the phone number or the email address and the customer doesn't receive those, um, the script which I've written will create a list of errors um, that we might need to investigate and have a look at. Now I can take a look at the email that has come through to me. It has not. There it is. So here we have the message to the customer, which you can customize as much as you need to um, with the unique number um, that needs to be replaced today, and to visit the website if they want to order more. Now if I come in here and run this again, it's not actually going to send anything because even though the date matches, um, we've already sent the SMS and the email and so we're not going to be sending duplicates to customers. If I change the date on this one here, and change the phone number, we can run it again, and that SMS and email will be sent. There it is. Now at the moment the customer list is pretty much standalone. However, you could quite easily integrate um, the previous system, the CRM system which I demonstrated, into this system and you could have this information being pulled from um, a completely different spreadsheet and you could automatically populate a list of all your existing customers down this sheet here um, and draw and continually draw from that other sheet. Or you can just run it standalone if you don't need the same functionality that we have in the other CRM system. And of the five main elements that we have here, the item reminders, the order history, the product list, the customer list, and the order form and picking slips, um, each of those can be run individually if you want. You could do away with all of these four sheets at the end here and just use the order form and picking slips if you wanted to enter the customer information manually up here as a way to quickly generate orders and create PDF copies of those orders. You might not be too concerned about contacting your customers about replacing these items so you might want to do away with this sheet and just use the order history so for your own records you know who ordered what and when they ordered it. Now compared to my last project this does have quite a little bit more um, JavaScript code that goes into it to make it run. However I will be making all of that code um, and a template of this sheet available so that if you want to implement a system like this yourself you can take that and customize it the way you want it to work. In the next few videos I'm going to be going through in depth about how each of these particular sheets works and all of the little things that go into it as well as all of the code that uh, makes it do what it does. Now because we're building this in Google Sheets uh, we have access to the Google Apps part of Gmail um, and we can send outgoing emails pretty easily uh, using that built-in functionality in the Google Sheets script. And for SMS messages I'm using a company called Twilio which has an API that integrates with Google Sheets um, and it's surprisingly easy to implement. I tried a few other SMS companies out as well however I didn't have much luck with those um, but using Twilio was pretty straightforward and I was able to get it set up within an hour. You can set up the account for free um, and you'll be able to send SMS messages to one designated phone number without having to load credit onto your account uh, and that's good for testing so when you first set this up you'll probably be sending a lot of test SMS's and you don't have to worry about wasting whatever credit you add until after you've got all the kinks sorted out and you can actually start sending SMS's to customers. So I'll also provide a link to um, Twilio in the description. I'm not in any way affiliated with them I just think that um, the service they provide is 
pretty great and it's very easy to integrate their API with Google Sheets. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. I've given you a bit of an overview of how this system works. You might take a look at it and see what parts of it are useful to you and implement those in your own Google Sheet. Check out my previous videos on the custom CRM system if you haven't seen that already because many of the things that we cover in this series is also going to be touched on in that series and it will be useful to be up to speed on that. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and let me know in the comments and I'll catch you in the next video.